So we have to just keep ratcheting up the pressure on Mr. Putin, and we have to do more to support the Ukrainian armed forces. Every request for arms that they make, we should meet it. NATO should be putting every single piece of defensive weaponry uh, that it can into Ukraine. Uh, and we've got to be ready to be in this for the long haul. There will be a long insurgency against Russia if it does seek to occupy uh, Ukraine. And, and in the end, Russia will lose that insurgency. Mr. Putin has made a tremendous and terrible uh, and, and deeply damaging strategic miscalculation here. He, he, he cannot win in this situation and the international community has to stand firm against him. Um, I want to talk about some of the humanitarian uh, implications in just a moment, but the issue of sanctions is important. And I want to talk about why it seems that there is reluctance to impose some tougher sanctions, particularly as we heard about the SWIFT uh, international payment system. And that is because uh, many of the countries who might be imposing those tougher sanctions would actually be harmed by them. I'm thinking here particularly of Germany because it trades uh, oil and gas with Russia, as you've said, and it relies on that payment system to be able to get access to energy. And the truth is that if we impose tougher sanctions, we all in Europe would pay the price. Well, what I would gently say to our, our friends and partners uh, in Europe who rely more on, on Russian gas and oil than we do is that they may well feel that they are harmed by this action on SWIFT that's required, but would be far more harmed if we allow a reckless tyrant, uh, frankly a gangster that Mr. Putin is, uh, to, to run uh, his, his writ across Europe. That cannot be allowed to happen, and so it's time to put our national security and our values uh, as, a, as Europe uh, ahead of uh, these, some, some of these other considerations. That will be tough. It's going to be up to political leaders across uh, Europe to make the case very clearly to their people uh, that there will be some costs. But this is democracy that we're fighting for. This is our values and our freedoms uh, to stand up against a deeply corrupt regime 